Roger Riera, you're a few weeks into your career at NAC. How are you settling in? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, uh, the club, uh, I really like the club. I think that the facilities we have, the group we have, uh, the staff we have is, is very nice. And I think that we have a quite young team, but with a lot of ambition. And I think that we're just settling in, but we're doing it in the right way. You transferred here from uh, Villarreal uh, uh, B. Uh, why did you choose the Dutch competition? Well, it's not just the Dutch competition. I think NAC uh, itself is a club with a lot of history, uh, a new uh, NAC before coming in. So it's a team that in Spain is well known and I think the, I like to have uh, goals in my career and I think that uh, going back to the Eredivisie with, with NAC is a good chance and a good goal for me and for the team to, to have it this season. So we're going for it. You said you uh, knew NAC already before you came here. Uh, uh, how did you know NAC? Because I assume as a Spanish player you didn't have posters of NAC. No, <laughs> no I didn't, I didn't. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, NAC played, uh, I think it was Europa League uh, quite years ago. I was, I think it was nine or ten years ago. I'm 24 now, so it was when I, I was starting to watch uh, real football and, and also playing like FIFA video games. So I, 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 know, I know them from before. Is it uh, uh, a plus for you that you're playing with a, a Spanish companion in the center of the defense? Well, I didn't play today, but yeah, it, it helps you to, to settle in. Um, obviously, like sometimes the communication uh, it goes quicker because it's the same language. But I feel I feel very good as well with with John Paul or with Steve today. So I think that, it, as you said, like precision, it's about the feelings, about settling, about knowing each other, and I think we're doing it the right way. Normally, you're, uh, uh, you came here for a, a place in the starting eleven. How's the competition? Because you said uh, Jan Paul and uh, Steve, but they're younger players. You're, you're normally, you don't have that much competition for your place. Well, uh, I, don't, I don't think that we have to uh, look at the player in how old is him. If not, we have to look at him about his quality and think that both of them, they are quality. I think that uh, we have a, a, a good uh, squad that we have to compete in every training session to give our best level and that will help the team to have a good level in the matches because if we compete like in a good level in trainings, we'll improve more, we'll improve quicker and I think that that's what we're looking for. But uh, although you say don't look at the age of uh, players, uh, you are one of the more experienced players in this team. Uh, does that also give you a, a role as one of the leaders in the team? Well, maybe. Um, now I'm settling in, as you said, but um, I will try to help them as much as I can, if I can help them um, in, in anything like in or off the pitch, like on or off the pitch, I will do it uh, and happily. Uh, so I think that uh, I played, as you said, uh, quite some games uh, back in Spain. I played as well in Nottingham Forest that we was in England. So all the experiences that I took and uh, I've taken from, from everywhere, I'll try to explain them, I'll try to help them if I can and try to improve. Finally, the game of the day, you lost, first uh, loss of the preseason. Uh, I assume you're devastated. Well, uh, uh, we're not happy, definitely. I think, like, I know it's precision, but uh, having a, uh, a winning mentality, I think it can help the team. I've, I've, tell, I've told them before, I think, that we have to get uh, that mindset of winning every game. And I know that it's precision. I know that we have that feeling. I know that the result is not important at all. But I think that we have to compete to have that uh, mentality, to, that winning mentality that will help us uh, going into the league and going for the victory every week. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.